Welcome Fucus. We're going to be looking at what action you need to take this year. Okay, we're using the Work Your Light Oracle cards and I have pulled the action cards from that deck specifically for your reading. Okay, so let's have a look what action you need to take this year. Okay, one card for a Fucus please. One card for a Fucus. Action. Okay, take a break Fucus. Right. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. Hmm. This seems like I feel like there's a new beginning, actually. And it's almost as though getting off the treadmill is necessary for you to be able to begin this new beginning. The cards are flying everywhere. We've got cards on the floor, on the table. They are coming out, ready to talk. Okay. Tell me more about take a break for a focus, please. And it's really interesting because what I'm seeing in this card is that you can, it's almost like there's the option of walking through a couple of doorways here, but they're going to lead to the same place anyway. Um, so I want to say try not to stress too much. Okay, let me just pick up the cards on the floor. Okay. So what we have here a few kiss. Also, I just want to say before I start, at the end of um, this video, we'll be reading uh, out of the book what that take a break actually says. But in the meantime, we have postponement here. Okay, um, this is about you needing to take a rest, all right? Needing to take some time. Okay, there's been, we've got this thunderbolt and sorry. So there has been um, an unexpected change. Um, take place. Um, I feel as though, sorry for the pause, I actually am just getting that for some of you. It's a matter of taking a rest um, and a break right now because this could be coming. Okay, um, and I feel like it's really important for you to not be in your head about this, okay, for you to let go of what it is that you need to let go of to take the time that you need to take to heal. I don't feel like it's going to last for long, to be honest with you. Um, and this, for some of you, this has already happened and it's in the past, all right? Um, but this postponement here is about you needing to recover, recover from what has happened, okay, um, because you're going to need it, you're going to need it for what's to come, and what is to come is this new beginning here, okay, this new beginning in consciousness, this new beginning in awareness, okay, this, this is sort of like there's this um, uprising of of you um but you in the sense of you being aware of what you actually possess and what you are about way different than just being sort of in this human form okay and you're gonna be learning boy oh boy are you gonna be learning you're going to start to see that the little things around you are there to teach you massive, massive lessons. You know, like, there's not, there's not, it could be that you're going to become so conscious. You know, this is the beginning of your awakening of this consciousness. And, and the thing is that I'm not saying that as if, oh, you're not aware and conscious or awake, because for some of you, you really are. But this is stepping it up to a new level. Um, for others of you, this is the beginning of this awakening, you know. And um, you're going to be looking at things. It could be like, I don't even know like a stroke of paint, a, a paintbrush stroke, right? And you're going to look at that and you're going to get so much information from that that it's not going to be funny. And the next person's going to come along and go, what do you mean? It's only a stroke of paint. Like you're going to see all this stuff about it, you know? And um, you're going to be incredibly aware 
of of I feel like the the process of how everything in the world works, how it all works together, how it works separately. Um, and it's kind of like looking at a machine and just knowing that okay, this works be this part it works because of this part here doing its job, and if this part doesn't do its job, then this part over here isn't gonna work and da 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 da. So I really do feel as though this there's there's quite a transformation here for you, okay. Um, this courage card here, I love this. I also want to bring up this card with it too, because there's been a lot that you have had to have grown, grow, that you have grown through, okay, and, um, and you are rising up to the light here. What I want to say about this is that Along the way of having to grow through the cracks and having to grow without potentially a lot of nurturing or a lot of support, um, having to, to do it rough and do it hard, take everything that you know, even if you have to sit down and write all that down to go, okay, so this is what I learned along the way and, and, and this is what happened, um, you know, this, these were the tools that I gained. Bring all those in and utilise those to help you become more aware. Maybe this is an awareness of yourself and what it is that you have achieved and how you have achieved that throughout your lifetime up until this point, okay? We have the lovers here we also have the rebirth okay um this is really interesting because i feel like i'm getting a couple of different messages here so just bear with me <sighs> for some of you this is about a relationship a romantic relationship okay and there's a new beginning okay i'm not talking about the abusive ex coming back and you're going to rekindle things and all that jazz i'm talking about a coming out of the woods, you know, actually being able to meet each other um, on the same page and, and rising up together from that. Okay, for others of you, this is about you seeing yourself and meeting yourself for the first time. Okay, and, um, and about you really coming out of the hardships that you have faced throughout the years there's been enough of that for you. It's time for you to rise up and start playing the music that resides within you. To start letting this beautiful melody be heard. Right? Because previously it's been the storm and, and there's been a lot of um, holding on. Holding on to those emotions and the things that the storm created. So it's time to really let that up. Let it out. And then when you do, what comes up after that is going to be absolutely magical. It's going to be beautiful. Um, you don't have to wear your armor in the world anymore. You know, you can take it off. Okay, because what the armor does is it says, I'm ready for a fight, let's go. But the fact of the matter is, you don't need to be ready for that anymore. Okay, because it's not there. It's only there if you wear the armor because then you're drawing it into your reality. But if you take the armor off, what you're saying to the universe is that I'm ready. I'm ready to go in without the armor. I don't need to fight anymore. I don't want the battle. I want love. Right? So be that. Be that love. Don't be on the defense all the time, ready to go into battle, ready to go be like, right. Okay, let go of that intensity. If you want to be intense about anything, be intense with what's in your heart, with the love that's in your heart. Because that's worth the intensity, right? 
because the armour screams intensity. It screams fight, fight, fight. Experiencing. You see, this is about you becoming one with everything. With nature, with energy, with others, with everything. This is about you experiencing things to the fullest. Of not just say like, for example, not just seeing a tree, feeling the tree, right? Feeling what that feels like inside of you, feeling the energy of the tree, seeing how you can connect with that and that you are the same as that. You know, this is going to be a real year of expansion for you in a spiritual sense and a massive year of growth. So get ready for it. So long as you want it, right? Take off the armor so that can come in because nothing can penetrate the armor that you wear. And so if you want that, it, it's kind of the thing here, if you kiss, is that you can't wait for it to come in to then take off the armor. You have to take the armor off first in order for it to come in. Okay? So make sure you do. Okay, here we go. Let's read this. Take a break. A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. It's okay to take a break and enjoy your creations. To take a moment from your busy schedule to get off the treadmill of life. To appreciate and acknowledge all that you have created, achieved, released or experienced before rushing on to the next thing. To be in the moment and enjoy where you are. To take a breath and regather your mind, body and spirit. To recalibrate, appreciate and celebrate. To decide on what you really want to experience next. If you take a moment, you are not going to miss out. Perhaps you have just completed a big project manifested something significant in your life, released an old way of being, or just been burning the candle at both ends. Now is the time to take some time out before rushing on to the next thing. You did it. Enjoy yourself and recalibrate. Go on vacation. Book a massage. Take long walks in nature. Go away for a rejuvenating weekend to recharge and replenish. Okay, the action you need to take is take a break and a breath. Really important for you to remember throughout this year. Okay, not just right now, throughout the entire year. Because there's going to be times where it is 100% necessary for you to take this break. Okay, and to really come in to being conscious so that you can learn from the moment what it is that you need to learn, okay? And draw on what it is that you already have to get you through these times. Okay, if you kiss, because you have it. You have it within you. You know what to do. You've got it all. Don't doubt yourself. Celebrate that, okay? And carry on being amazing. Okay, if you kiss, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.